<laughs> so I said I'm packing, I'm moving. Uh, <laughs> well, let's just get right into it. Let me make sure I have the link because something's happening that has never happened. And normally I have people that are waiting in the queue, but they're not here right now. So I got to see if there's something I did, child, you know, technology be technology. Let me um, pin the link um, uh, in the comment section. Hi, everyone. Hi, everyone. Hi, everyone. Um, I see it on Facebook. We got something going on because I don't see the, the, are you guys, let me know if you're trying to request to be on because um, something happened that has never happened. And I don't see anybody in queue right now. So I'm wondering if it's something that I, is it a setting that I have set up that I need to reset? Um, so tell me in the comment section if you're trying to be a guest. Did I do something? Okay, now it's coming through. I wonder what happened. Usually people are already in queue. Um, so this is not normal for me, Kendra. Um, oh, <laughs> thank you. Um, there's so I, I'm, I'm trying to figure out what's going on right now because I don't like the fact that, um, oh, people are coming through now. So was the, was the link not there? I need to know why this happened because this has never happened. Usually it's like a lot of people already in queue and then, um, I'm shuffling from there. All right, let me ask somebody. Hey, baby. Hey, Kendra. So let me ask you, did, did you just see the link or did you like, or was you trying to get in queue and it wasn't letting you? I saw it when I clicked on there. Okay. I and know, I, I clicked it there. and I made it. What? You're here. What's your name, baby? Danica. Everybody calls me Callie. Danica, everybody calls you Callie? Mm -hmm. Were you, is that a baby? I heard somebody say mommy. Hi. Say hey, royalty. Hey. Hi. Hey. <laughs> Danica, where are you calling us from? I'm calling you guys from Dallas, Texas. So is that your baby? It's my grandbaby. You're, how old are you, Zanika? Um, 38. Okay. How old is your child? Uh, my oldest is 20 and my youngest is 17. Got you. 20 and 17. Both by the same hey. man? I'm going to leave royalty because she loud. Are both, your you kids say, both of your kids aren't by the same man? No. No. Okay. Two, two, two fathers. Two fathers. Have you ever been married? No, I haven't. Okay. What do you do for a living, Zanika? I'm sorry? What do you do for a living? For the lip, for I'm self-employed. Um, I do event planning. Um, I am a floral designer. I do um, event coordination. I do a lot of fashion shows. So I'm a serial entrepreneur. Okay, serial entrepreneur. This is Danica. What city are you calling us from? Dallas again. Oh, I'm sorry. I apologize, girl. It's I'm okay. trying to get some to my. I don't rip my dress, so I'm I'm challenged with my dress. I ripped it, so that's why I keep falling. You off can't tell. Don't tell nobody. You can't even tell. <laughs> it's, it's okay. I don't mind being transparent, so y'all can understand the the life that be lifing over here. Um, but I'm sitting here with a dress I can't even rip, y'all. I mean, zip. <laughs> so this is Danica, 38. What's your is Libra? Two children, 2017, self-employed, Dallas. What kind of man are you looking for? So I'm looking for a God-fearing man, first and foremost. Somebody that's honest, loyal. Um, I think honesty right now is the main thing that I'm having an issue with. Like, men just don't know how to keep it real. So um, I think honesty, loyalty, and stability, God-fearing are the main things that I'm concerned with. Okay. What are some deal breakers? Deal breakers is Debbie. If you have kids, you're not involved in your kid's life. That's a deal breaker. I don't like cigarette smokers. Um, any real serious drug habits, that's a no for me. Um, alcoholics, any serious addictions, it's, it's a no for me. So I like stability. Okay, does he have to look a certain way? Huh? 
Does he have to look a certain way? Say it again, Kendra. Girl, do he got to look a certain way? He does. He does. He definitely needs to be attractive. I like tall. I like dark. I'm open to other races. I am. Um, but they have to have good hygiene. They have to have all their teeth, no rotten mouth, no functified body odors. I can't. I can't. I cannot. I repeat, I cannot. <laughs> okay. Um, does he have to make a certain amount of money? Um, I don't want to put a number amount because I can take care of myself. So as long as he's stable in his finances and not looking for anybody to live with or take care of him, then um, as long as he's financially stable, I don't want to put an amount on it. Okay. Let's do the Kendra Cam. Uh-oh. <laughs> okay, I'm at IHOP, y'all. Denny's, one of them. Kendra Cam. Oh, we see you. You got up. Okay, boo. Ooh, ooh. Okay. <laughs> I love the way you pop right up, honey. Huh? I said, I love the way you pop right up. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'll get right into character right quick. <laughs> so, what's your grandchild? Do you call yourself, like, do you call yourself a grandma or do you do one of those? G-Lady. Put some respect on the G. <laughs> what is it? What do you call it? G-Lady. G lady. Okay, that's what I was trying to figure out. I know, I know we don't do, like grandma don't want to be grandma no more. So they, there's grandma. There's I mean, I'm a grandma for sure, but I'm not grandma-ish. So ain't no need in calling me grandma. You know, I'm a lady, first of all, and I've been a G before the kids, so you could just call me G lady. Is that, that, is that what your grandchildren call you? Huh? What does your grandchild call you? We can't see your face, Tanika. I'm going to go outside because I can't hear you good. I said, oh, child, this dress. What does your grandchild call you? My grandchild calls me G-Lady. Both of them. <laughs> they call you G-Lady? That's the name, yes. And they I should have let royalty you. say it for you because she say it real fast. So it sounds like Jalali. Jalali. <laughs> they can't call you G-Ma? Nah. Nah. <laughs> G nah. Lady. Okay. Okay. G Lady. All right. Uh, what are three flaws you think you have to work on, Zanika? Zanika, girl. What is happening, but Why do we keep moving? Why am I single? What are three flaws you think you have, girl? What's my flaws? My flaws. I got a smart mouth. Um, I just kind of speak before I think sometimes. So I'm kind of one of them people that don't have a filter and that could be come off as rude or mean. So I think that's my number one flaw. I sometimes am told like I look mean. So maybe I just be having the rest in bitch face and I'll get people that tell me I look unapproachable. I look mean. So that might be a second flaw. And a third one? I can't think of a third flaw. I got an overbite. Hello? <laughs> it's the second song, so I got a little overbite. You know, that might be. <laughs> she got an overbite. Okay. Um, when was your last relationship, Danica? My last serious relationship was in 2015. Okay. You don't have to answer, but I'm going to ask. When's the last time you was intimate with someone? Lady never tells. G lady never tells. A real lady will never tell. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you think you're single? Um, I think I'm single because I have standards and I don't really want to let them down. And I feel like a lot of people might think that I don't deserve what I want. And so they might put me in a well, category and put me in a box. So what do you what do you think you deserve that you want that people don't think you deserve? 
Well, I'm, I I don't know that they think I don't, but I just feel that because it's not what I am approached with a lot. But I feel like I deserve princess treatment because I am a queen. I've worked hard my whole life for everything that I have. So, like, I deserve a man that is a gentleman, opens doors, pulls out chairs, um, puts me first. Like, I'm the first thing on his mind when he wakes up, last person he want to talk to or see before he goes to bed, like... I want somebody that's all about me. And a lot of times these men be so busy playing games that it's hard to focus on one person. And I am the one. So I need the focus. And boo, she's the one you need to focus. <laughs> she's 38. What's the age range you would date? I think 35 to 55. Okay. You're in Dallas. Does he have to be in Dallas? No, um, if he's willing to travel, I travel as well. He doesn't have to live in Dallas. You travel as well. He doesn't have to live in Dallas. Okay. This is Dinika, uh, 38, self-employed. Um, let's do it, boo. How could the guy reach out? Oh, why would a guy be lucky to be with you? Uh, my Instagram is C-A-L-I underscore bossy, B-O-S-S-Y, 85. And my Facebook okay. is my name. Did I ask you why would a guy be lucky to be with you? I don't think you did. Yeah, I was asking. Okay. I asked you that and then you gave me your, your contact info. Oh, I'm sorry. I think a guy would be lucky to be with me because it's only one me. Nobody could duplicate me. And a lot of people do try to duplicate me, but <laughs> it's me. It's Callie, Miss Callie with a CK. A-L-I-I. -I. So I'm not getting confused with no other Callies. I know it's a lot of us, but mine's is with a C-K-A-L-I-I. -I. And um, no, I'm really ambitious. I'm really loving. I'm really sweet. I'm goal orientated. Um, I'm very family orientated. Um, and I'm outgoing. I like to have fun. So yeah, I'm that one. <laughs> so what, what ways do people try to duplicate you? Um, I just see a lot of people try to bite my style. I'm really different. Like I always do stuff to make myself stand out from the crowd. I don't ever want to be like, like, for example, stuff that's on the mannequins in the mall, that's going to be the last thing I pick. I don't want to be in nothing that I'm going to see other people in. So, um, I just noticed people just try to copy my trends, things that I'm doing as far as business wise, which it's not a bad thing. I look at it like they're inspired by me. So, but I noticed it. So, hey, y'all. Hey. <laughs> hey, y'all. Hey, let's do it. Donika <laughs> Dallas, 38, self employed, um, two children, 20 to 17. She's a Libra. Can the guy have kids? I forgot to ask. You I'm that. not a Libra. I'm a Virgo. Why I got Libra here? My apologies. Um, can the guy have kids? He can. Um, I don't really want no little kids, no baby mamas, no little. I mean, yeah, no, no kids, no little ones. Huh? No little ones. I said, keep that phone steady, child. <laughs> All right, no little kids. All right, baby girl, you gave out your contact info. Keep me posted how it goes, honey. Okay, thank you, Kendra. You're welcome. Bye, sweetheart. All right, let me see if I got any men in queue. Do we have any men in queue? Um, I don't see. Let me see who's over here. Well, let's go to Auntie. Hey, Auntie D. Oh my God, I can't believe I'm on here. Hi. Hi, Auntie D. Hi, How, How you doing? You? I'm good. good. How are you? Good. How, how where you calling me from, Auntie D? Colleen. Colleen, that's Texas, Texas right? Yes. Colleen, Texas. Um, how old are you? 57. 57, okay. Are you retired or do you work? I'm retired. I'm medically retired. Medically retired? Yes. Okay. Um, Auntie, well, I'm calling you Auntie D. That's what your name says. What do you want me to call you? Yes. Auntie D. You can call me Auntie D. That's fine. Okay. You have any kids? I have four. All grown. How old are your children? 40, 33, 27, and 24. Are they all by the same man? Uh, no, three different men. Three, three men. Have you ever been married? Three times. What happened? Why you get divorced each time? 
Well, the first one, I, I was very young when I, that was the first, uh, my first husband, my first two children are by him. And then the second one, it just didn't work out. And the last one, I met him in church thinking, you know, he was a God-fearing man, and then he ended up being an alcoholic, so Aww. I had to let okay. that go. You let that go. All right. Auntie D, what's your zodiac sign? Capricorn. Capricorn. So we got Auntie D, Colleen, Texas, Capricorn, um, 57. She's retired medically, has four children, married three times. Would you get married again? I would. I like being married. She likes being married. Okay. Let's see if we can make it four times the charm. What kind of man are you I looking would. for? One is kind, generous, outgoing. Um, even if he has medical issues, because I have medical issues. You know, there's sometimes there's certain times that I'm not feeling well and I can't do certain things, but it doesn't mean we can't go fishing or something that's not you know, exhausting. And sometimes I can I can get on we I can we get on scooter and scoot around. We can still have fun just because you don't feel sick don't mean that you can't get out and do some things. I'm the, I'm still feel young at heart, you know. Okay. So you want so you want a man that's active. Yeah, but if he's if if he has the medical challenges like me, we can work around that. We can, we'll find something to do. Um, I'm not sure if you want to share, but do you want to share your medical challenges? Well, I have I have diabetes. I um have a neuropathy in my feet, so sometimes they go to sleep, and they may stay sleep for seven days. You know, like so. Does that you know mean, how when, you're, when they're asleep, can, does that mean you can't walk? I I I can, but it's difficult. I can walk. I can run. <laughs> but some days it's just, you know, and then I have an iron deficiency and sometimes I'm just really lethargic, tired, you know, it's, it comes with age, you know, it comes with age. I got you, boo. All right. So, um, what's some deal breakers with this guy that you're looking for? Ooh, child. No, no. Well, we, they can drink casually, but no, no alcoholics, no weed smokers. And I know some people use weed to, you know, help out, but I, I don't want no one that, that's any kind of drug dependent. No, no drugs at all. No drugs. Okay. No. Does he have to be in Colleen, Texas? No, uh, I'm retired. I, I, I fly all the time. And another thing is I know how to find discount tickets and he, he got to be willing. He got to be willing to go when it's they go though. So How do you find the discount said, tickets? Oh, you can Google them. You can go on Hop, Cheap Flights. I I, I flew to um, Hawaii and back for $199 round trip. Oh, girl. Hawaii yeah, and back. I'm a, I'm, uh, they call me for the tickets. Everybody calls me for the tickets. <laughs> Everybody calls Aunt D for the tickets, honey. Yeah. Okay. So this is Auntie D. Oh, let's do. Oh, does the guy got to look a certain way? No. Do we gotta make a I certain amount of money? Heart. Well, we he look has at to their make heart. Money. I look at their heart. How much money he got to make? Tip. Well, he needs to make enough money so we can he can travel. It, you know, when I say let's go, let's go. Sometimes so he paid for himself. On. Yeah, he paid. Yeah, he paid for himself. I ain't paying for him. So he got to be ready to go. So he got to. How often do you travel? Whenever I feel like it. If I get the urge, I'll get up and I'll go. And he, he don't have to, to do that. He doesn't have to do that, but I would like okay. somebody that that is, you know, they can do that when, if they want to go where I'm going, you know, say, okay, well, I can go too, you know. Okay, got you. Let's do the Kendra Cam ITD. Okay. Let's see. Can you see me? Let me see you. We see you, boo. Okay. Okay, you 
good. Thank Tati you. D, what's the age range you would say? You're you're throwing 57, right? What's your age range? Um, I'll say 55 to 75. 55 to 75? Yeah. Okay. All right. When was your last relationship? <laughs> 11 years ago. 11 years ago. That's when your last your last ex-husband? Yes. Okay. You don't have to and answer. I'm going to tell, tell you the reason why I was single for 11 years is because I had a young daughter, my last daughter. I didn't want to bring no men, more men, you know, I didn't want to bring no men around her. I had been married all those times. I didn't want to bring no men around her. So I decided that I would stay single until she left home. And so that's what I did. And that's what she did. Okay, this is Auntie D. Um, she's in Colleen, Texas, 57. Uh, oh, you don't have to answer, but I'm going to ask you. When was the last okay, time you was intimate with someone? Five years ago. Five years ago. Okay. Are you now? I know you mentioned church with your last husband. Are you following a certain religious belief? No, I just I, I didn't date anybody. I I I I wasn't going out with anyone. I wasn't. So. Okay, you wasn't. All right, let's do it. So, what are three flaws, Andy? You think we have to work on? I talk too much. Because I'm over here by myself, so I will talk them to them. <laughs> That's one of my flaws. And I, 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 I like things a certain way. You know, I like things order in, in order. So it, that, that can be a flaw to some people. I, kind of a little OCD with it, I guess you would say. And um, I guess I could be bossy. My kids say I'm bossy, so. Okay. I don't know. Yeah. I haven't been in a relationship in a long time. <laughs> yeah. I yeah. I talk about this at times and I feel like sometimes if you desire, if this like your goal, there's some people who truly don't desire a relationship. That's just not what they are, what they want. I will say the people that generally don't desire relationships is because they have a fulfilled single life. Like single life doesn't mean um single life to some just means you are not committed to one person, but it doesn't mean quote unquote single. That's why a lot of men will rather be single because what that means to certain men is like, I am not committed to one person and I am able to talk as many women as I desire. And I have a lot of options. So right. instead of settling down with one person, I'm going to settle down with seven, but I'm single. Right. So, um, but in your case, I don't think if you, you can't, don't go single too long. Cause what happens is when you go to single for so long, you get comfortable and it's yeah. hard to adjust. And that's kind of like the, the thing that I, I don't recommend is like, if you get comfortable and you are just, you know, then it's like, you got to learn because the relationship is a learned behavior. You got to learn to compromise with a person. Right. So let's see if we can change this up. Andy, why would a guy be lucky to be with you? Well, I'm I'm fun, I'm loving, I'm kind, I'm genuous. Uh, I'm a vibe, like the young people say. I'm a vibe. <laughs> she a vibe, child. All right, let's do it, Andy. How can the guy reach out to you? Um, is uh D D E E T. T E E on um on uh, Facebook. I forgot to ask you your age range. They're telling me that. What's your age range? My age range, I, I said uh, 55 to 75. 55 to 75. Okay, she did say. All right, and what's your contact info again, Andy? D D E E and then T T E E on Facebook. D E E E and then T E E E. Okay. Got you. All right. Thank you. Keep me posted. Thank you goes. so much. I love you, Kendra. You're so beautiful. Thank you, you so much. I want to say this, just in case I make you a highlight. It's all about you, but for those that might be asking why I keep playing on my shirt, I ripped my dress because the shit is actually too small and it ripped. And I literally got dressed right before the show started. 
and I never had time to change. So for those that keep seeing me fidgeting, it's because I'm trying to keep this ripped ass dress on. All right, Auntie, keep me posted. Hang, hang it up the show. Hang it up the show. Hang it up the show. Bye. Oh, but then my bra bye. strap. Oh, okay. <laughs> all right, bye, baby. All right, bye, 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 bye. All right, let me see if I got a guy in cute child because is this Darnell? I think this is a guy. Hello. Hello, ma'am. How are you doing today? Hello. I, I can't Can see your me? face, baby. Oh, shit. Hold on. God damn it. Damn phone. Oh, I'm sorry. Mm. Any people afraid now? I can see you now, honey. Your name is Darnell? Yeah, ma'am. Where, where you calling me from, love? Uh, Phoenix, Arizona. Phoenix, Arizona. How old are you? 36. 36. What do you do for a living? Uh, I'm a rideshare driver. You're a rideshare driver. Okay. You have any kids? No, ma'am. No kids. What's your zodiac sign? Scorpio. Scorpio. So this is um, Darnell, right? Yeah, ma'am. Darnell, Phoenix, Arizona, 36, Scorpio, ride share, driver, no kids. What kind of woman are you? Are you looking for a woman? Uh, well, um, uh, yes. Uh, I mean, I mean, I, I'm straight. I'm heterosexual. I'm straight. Um, okay. But uh, uh, yes, I, I am looking for a woman. Yes. Okay. I, I let's get it. What kind of woman are you looking for, honey? Oh, uh, this well, hey, whatever's available, <laughs> whatever woman's available. <laughs> Whoever wants you, right? You got a post, you know. <laughs> if you got a post, <laughs> you know, like Vicky, he said you alive. Can you inhale, exhale? So you got a vagina. Come on. <laughs> Just got to inhale, exhale, and have a vagina. And yep. That's about it. That's about it. That simple. That's simple. I'm a, I'm a uh, you know, as Leonard Skinner once said, be a simple kind of man. You're a simple kind of man. Okay. Um. <laughs> Um, so do you have anything that we would call a deal breaker? Uh, drugs. No woman on drugs. Uh, women with a spending problem. With a spending uh, problem. Okay, you don't like women that shop a lot? Uh, correct. Uh, mostly like, I mean, it, it, you got the money to buy nice things. That's not a problem. But if you like to put stuff on a credit card, you know, Oh, you can't. You know, uh, woman can't use a credit card. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm anti credit card. I'm more of the Dave Ramsey type. I don't know if you know who Dave Ramsey is. Uh, I don't. He's anti credit card, and I hate credit cards too. I, I chopped all my credit cards up. I don't use credit cards, but. Uh, uh, How do you buy plane tickets? I use my debit card. It oh, the same okay, way I got you. Got you. I understand now. Yeah. So. No, if you got to buy it with credit, no. I mean, not necessarily no. I mean, if you, as long as you ain't spending excess funds, you understand what I'm saying? Okay, so real quick, they're telling me you was here two weeks ago. Why don't I remember you? Uh, you about a month ago. Day? About a, a month, month ago? ago. And I'm so ugly, I, that's probably why you don't remember me. <laughs> I thought you were so ugly. Well, that's not nice. I wouldn't say that. But no, I think I would remember you, but I don't remember you. So did we do the whole conversation? We did. We did. So what's the update? Oh, uh, well, I mean, the update, I ain't going to lie. Uh, I'm going to be honest with you, uh, Miss Kendra. Uh, I got a lot uh, more uh, responses than uh, I thought I would get. Then what's the I problem? None of them were worthy? Oh no, uh there's a couple of them I like. Uh there's one of them, she, you know, she out of New York. Uh you know, she she you know, she out of New York. Uh, you know, uh we're talking about making plans this summer. Um it's really Then why it, are you back really on the show? Then why are you back here? Why am I back here? Yes. 
Uh, I just wanted to give an update. That's all. So was that? Oh. The, well, why didn't you tell me that from the beginning? I'm talking to you like it's your first time, honey. Well, I mean, I, I just didn't want to interrupt you and you know interrupt the flow of your show. I do. I I apologize, uh, Miss Kendra. Uh, you know, like I said, I I watch the show. I don't want to be disrespectful. But um, uh, yeah, I mean, I I got hit up by you know a lot of different women. Uh, I ain't gonna lie. Uh, there's been a couple of trolls. Uh two transvestites, unfortunately. Um, but, you know, like I said, I got hit up by a lot of different women, a lot of women. And I just wanted to say to all those women, you know, you know, thanks for taking it easy on me, uh, you know, not uh, being too judgmental. Um, it Actually, coming on your show the last time, it actually re renewed my faith in American women. Oh, I think I remember. Did we talk about maybe cutting your beard and doing a makeover? Yep. Well, cut my beard, yeah. You would be good for a makeover. Uh, you, you ain't got to do that, Miss Kendra. I mean, that's real huh. polite of you. And I appreciate it. I wasn't you know, necessarily was offering because I don't oh, okay. have the means for a male. I mean, I did a makeover before on this show. I think I will do more. Uh, but I, I, as I'm looking at you, like, I think you would, you would be like a great before and after you would be a completely different person. Oh, I, I definitely would. Uh, one now, day, do you uh, want to cut your, is it, I'm sorry to cut you off. Do you have, you don't want to cut your hair and things like that? Uh, no, I, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and cut it. It's, it's, it's getting the summertime now. It's, it's over a hundred degrees now. Maybe I could do a makeover with, with you. I got to think about this. Uh, you you ain't got to do that. Don't you know? Uh, there's there's more important people out there than you know my ugly black ass. So you know. Oh, oh I'm sorry. I just cursed on your show. I apologize. Donna, I don't like this this thought process for yourself. You gotta think more of yourself than the way you talk about yourself. Hmm. Well, you know, I, I just like I said, I just I, I'm a humble guy and you know, simple and humble. Okay, so before we go, so the woman you're talking to, is that it? Or did you want to meet some new women? Uh, no, ma'am. Um, I, I, th I, th I think I'm good. Um, like, I said, I, like I said, I got a lot. I, matter of fact, I ain't even responded to uh, all of them. If you want to know the truth, I ain't even responded to all of them. I'm just not on social media that much. Uh, and I don't know if you remember, but last time I told you, I, I got uh, glaucoma. And... Uh, mm -hmm. You know, I ain't going to lie, my glaucoma's been acting up lately. So, you know, I've been spending time trying to deal yes, with that. Yes, that's right. I remember because you were telling me you can't see as well, but you also drive cars. Correct. So was it acting up to the point where you can't drive anymore? No, I, I, I'm still able to drive. I'm getting my car right now, you know. Uh, well, I ain't going to get in the car right now. I've been drinking, but. You know, there's my cars right there. There's my truck, my my car. I, well, I got three cars, but there's my truck. There's my uh, lift car. There's my uh uh. That's my other car I bought. That's a project car. That's uh, behind the tree. You can't see it behind the tree, but you know. Okay. All right, but we're gonna do it for those. Well, we're gonna go because you just came for an update. Okay. Yes, ma'am. All right, bye, baby. Goodbye, and thank you for having me. No problem. Hello. Hey, Kendra. Oh What's man. Going on? What's your name, love? Uh, my name's Terrell. Terrell, where are you calling us from, Terrell? Uh, I'm from uh, Indianapolis, Naptown. I think when I was in the fourth grade, I don't know if he was my. Now he wasn't my first boyfriend. That's crazy. He wasn't my first boyfriend in the fourth grade. But I had a boyfriend in fourth grade named Terrell. We only dated for two weeks though. Then he well, iced me. Back then it was called ice. Then he iced Ooh. me. <laughs> well, I'm, so I'm hoping to something a little more than two better weeks. than the girl you chose. Oh, yeah. well, you're wrong. Um, see, at fourth grade, you made a mistake. That could have been a your own life, see? But anyways, back to you. So, Terrell, <laughs> where you calling me from, honey? Uh, again, we in, we in Indianapolis. <laughs> I apologize. I mean, listen, I will give y'all. I definitely have ditzy moments, blind moments. I ask questions more than once. I see y'all in the comments saying it. You're right. I do. So let me just, this is what it is. Own it up. 
Uh, did you tell me your age already? No, nah, I haven't, but um, I'm 30. 30. Okay. Do you have any kids? Uh, I got one. He's three. Three? Why are you not with the mother? Um, Honestly, um, I probably wasn't in the right, you know what I mean? Like, like mind, mind frame, you know what I mean? The right mindset uh, at the time. You know, we both did some growing, uh, but that's not a block I'm trying to spin. So, uh we on, on to the next. When did, y'all, when did you figure out y'all wasn't in the right mindset? After she um, had the child? Maybe a little bit. You know, some some things kind of switched up. Um, you know, honestly, I, I would probably say I probably wasn't like, you know, kind of ten toes in from the from the get go. So I, my heart wasn't really in it the whole time. But um, you know, that's just that was just a, a young a younger me, you know. Um I don't want I don't throw no shade, but you know. Um, we we are better we are, we are, we are we're better parents now you know what I mean so okay um yeah. what do you do for a living Terrell uh I'm a truck driver um truck driver. I, yeah I, I own my own truck now so trying to trying to get more funds you know that uh, that yarn wasn't to you it was just to life um nah, I'm, I'm born Terrell, <laughs> Terrell truck driver Indianapolis um you have one child and you're, what's your zodiac sign uh, I'm an Aquarius. Aquarius. All right, Terrell, what kind of woman are you looking for now? Um, somebody probably with a sense of humor. Um, you know, I like uh, I, I like to smile a lot, like to like to joke, like to laugh, um, have some goals, be you know goal oriented or orientated, like the the other girl said. Um, and just just somebody probably got maybe like um, two kids, maybe less, you know, and want to want to build something uh for you know future generations uh future kids so do you want more kids uh yeah yeah i want i want more i want probably at least one or two of my own and she mm-hmm. can have children you don't mind that yeah yeah i'll probably stop at two because most folks don't really want like five or six you know what i mean so probably two be about my cutoff um for me okay what um are your deal breakers um deal breakers um Lack of ambition, no no goals, too many kids, um, just un, un, uh, unstable, you know, so at least kind of have like a car, house, you know, just be a basic, you know what I mean, human, uh, but a basic adult, you know what I mean, so. Okay, okay, okay. Um, does she have to look a certain way? Um, kind of, I mean, just like everybody, you know, we, we need some uh, some mutual attraction. You know, so as, as long as we can look at each other, eyes open and eyes closed and uh, still be able to have a nice conversation. So that's kind of how it starts, you know. OK, um, what would you say to the woman that's cautious to get involved with you because you have a three year old? Um, well, um, after, after three years, you know, um, you kind of you kind of you kind of see what um you, you, you grow apart. You know, what I mean, you grow up, you grow apart as we get older, you know things we did in our 20s is going to be different than things in our 30s so um add add up more kids and uh, more more responsibilities you know what i mean we just we all just growing you're all just growing okay growing. so this is tyrell um uh tyrell oh, tyrell i apologize um does she have to make a certain amount of money um it don't have to be a certain number just uh just financially stable you know able to take care of herself before i come in the picture um you know, as long as you could just be a like, like I said earlier, basic, basic adult. That's kind of all I really require. Um, I make more than enough for myself and my kids. So, as long as you can at least take care of yourself, without but before you meet me, you know what I mean. Don't come in because you need me. Come in because you want me. Come in because you want you. All right, let's let's do the Kendra cam. Okay, let me uh scoot back here. All right, so uh, all right, like I like to do the sideways, turn around or whatever. So, um. Basic little little step up right there. Okay, all right. Yeah. So when was the last um, relationship, Terrell? Uh, last relationship was uh my kid's mom. Um, so you know that's about two two and a half years ago now. Um, haven't got a relationship since then. Schedule kind of be a little hectic. You know, driving during the week. I come home. I got my kid. So I try not to. I don't really have the time to kind of go out and date as much as you know other people do because I'm trying to get his life set up, you know, and then I spend my time with him um, every weekend, you know, when I'm not working, so. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, you don't have to answer, but I'm going to ask, when's the last time you was intimate with someone? 
Um, probably been about a month. Uh, it's you know, uh, with my schedule being a little hectic, I'm just not trying to lose too much money. Trying to go on dates at the moment, I'm I'm focusing on uh, you know, kind of growing my business and getting my kid uh, you know, better lifestyle too. All right, let's do it, boo. So, what are three flaws you think you have? <clears throat> oh, I've been here. You've been asking this question a lot. Um, I would say probably like three flaws. Um that I know I need to work on that I've, that I've been working on the past couple of years. Um, just being like more romantic, being more uh, emotionally available. I know um, I'm, I'm a good listener, but, you know, still being able to talk everything through, uh, you know, the, the right way and be better understanding. Um, I don't really know the third one. I'm always trying to improve. Uh, I'm always looking, I always get feedback too, but um, I'll probably say them too. And then, yeah, that's that's all I can go with right now. I ain't gonna say I don't have any flaws, but off the top of my head, I don't. That's, that's all I know. I really know off the top for real. Okay, why would a woman be lucky to be with you? Um, I think she'd be lucky because it's gonna be uh it's gonna be good energy, good vibes. Um, I'm real understanding. I'm real kind of laid back, go with the flow. Um, but I don't mind getting active either. We can go out, you know, do something fun. We can go. We can go travel. Um. I'm kind of all over the place as far as that goes, but I'm I'm stable. You don't got to worry about me taking none of your money. You know what I mean? Like I know some people don't like that. Um, so I don't need anything from you in, in that aspect. I just want all the you know the the vibes in the company. So uh, and I'm a, I'm gonna hold you down. So mm -hmm. she gotta hold you down. Let's do it, Terrell. And oh, does she have to be in Indianapolis? No, not at all. Um, I travel. You know, I'm going to PA tomorrow, so it it honestly don't matter. Um, I can make I can make something work. Just in case I make you a highlight, people are wondering. I ripped my dress, so that's why I'm <laughs> fighting to keep it decent. I didn't have time to change before the show started, so I'm struggling. Um, back to you, Terrell. What's the age range you would date? I didn't ask you that. Um, I would probably say probably like 23 to 33. Um, I don't know too many girls over 33 that still want to have like multiple kids. Um, but how many more kids do you want to have? I would say at least one. I go for two. Um, okay. We can kind of cross that bridge when we get there, but I for sure I'm gonna have one more, guarantee. No questions asked. Uh, <laughs> so she has to be a woman that wants to have a baby. Preferably, yes. Preferably. Okay, let's do it. All right, mm -hmm. Bo. One more time. I think I like it. Is this how you reach out to you? This really helps. Yeah. I say everybody on um, the YouTube. If you have your contact, it makes it so much easier. So it's Mister Underscore Yeti. Yep, yep. All right, and that's how you do it. Yeah, that's on Instagram right there. So um YouTube, I mean however they need to reach out to me. Uh I got a Facebook, but I I can get that another time or something. I don't know. Okay. All right, but we'll keep me posted how it goes. All right, thanks, Kendra. Appreciate it. Um, let me see. Let's get a girl. Hello. Hi. I can't hear you, baby. Can you hear me now? Yes, we can. What's your name? I am Kiana. Kiana, where are you calling me from? Uh, I'm in Atlanta. Sorry, I'm a little nervous. <laughs> I'm, this is my first time calling in, so I just got lucky. Um, I'm in Atlanta, but I'm based in Los Angeles. Um, so you live in LA? Yes. Okay. How old are you, Kiana? I'm 30. 30? What you do for a living? I work in public policy and budget analysis work. Did you see Terrell? I did. Y'all the same age? You know, okay. We'll see. Ah, okay, okay. He said, oh, Kiana, I'm not sure what happened. Is she freeze? Oh, I can't risk it. Is she still there? Y'all know Wi-Fi be wi fi in. Oh, Kiana, is she still frozen on my screen? Y'all know we've been blessed, but we do know of the days where Wi-Fi messes up. Is she still there? I don't want to, I can't risk. Oh, let's see. I think she might be back. Hi. Hello, what happened? I don't know. It, re it just reloaded on both sides. Okay. All right, so Kiana, Elena, LA, public policy. You have any children? No. No kids. Nope. What's your zodiac sign? Cancer. Cancer. All right, baby girl, what kind of man are you looking for? So I'm looking for somebody who's really integral. Uh, the work I do is activism work. So 
I'm very an integral person, someone who's mature, who's grounded, who's open, who's looking for marriage, a life partner, but somebody who's been in therapy. So like they know their attachment styles, they've done the work, they know how to manage their stress and they have tools to work on that because the work is never done. Nobody is healed that don't exist. Um, and I'm looking for somebody who's a good communicator, who is pure, emotionally available, and who can just, I prioritize my overall health. Uh, I'm in therapy, I love God. Uh, I'm an ex-track athlete, so I run twice a week. So I'm just looking for somebody to match that. Okay. So what's your deal breakers? Um, I mean, you know, if somebody has strong opposing political views to like my work, that's one. I fight the, op I, I fight the opposition at work. I don't need that at home. And I've been through that and it's not fun. Uh, if you are an avid weed smoker, I'm cool. You know, I live in LA, so we take pop a gummy and have a little fun here and there. That's fine. You know, I like to have fun, but not house ain't going to be smelling like weed. Not doing that. Um, if you've never been to therapy and you're just afraid of doing the work, a lot of times people want a partner, but they don't know that like relationships take real work. So if you're afraid to do the work, if you don't communicate, if you raise your voice one time, that's the last time we're going to ever talk. That's a deal breaker. Um, and if you're just not like naturally considerate, empathetic, um, and then I'm looking for somebody who's, who's giving, like, you know, I feel like. I'm a good communicator and in my last relationships, I was always the one to set the tone for us to like work on ourselves. I'm looking for somebody who can like teach me something. Please. <laughs> I like the rule. Um, if you raise your voice one time, you out. And the reason I like that is I say that, you know, before physical abuse starts, I feel like verbal abuse. So just you test it in certain ways, right? And I mean, again, it could happen abruptly where a man just hits you the first time and then it's like, whoa, where'd this come from? But I do believe there's baby steps. And if you have that type of non-negotiable, I think that's a re very respectable one. Like start it early, like um, either learn how to talk to me or you don't talk to me at all. Yeah, I think that's good. I've literally Love been hung up, never responded. <laughs> And there you have it. Um, Kiana, does he have to be in Atlanta? Uh, so I'm in L.A., remember. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. You're in Atlanta right now. Um, no, he does not. Like, honestly, I'm looking the first chance I get. I know you're moving to L.A., girl, but I want to go back to New York. So <laughs> I'm looking for Are you from New York? You, I missed that part. No, uh, I'm not. But that's where I spent most of my time. I'm from St. Louis. I've moved around a lot for school. I went to Columbia grad school out there. So, um, but that's where I want to like eventually get back to. LA is just not my cup of tea. That's a cup of tea when it comes to dating. In general, it's real anti-black women out here. So get ready. <laughs> oh, girl, I'm, I'm, um, <laughs> how do I say this? There's no way to say it without being cocky so i just won't say it but what <laughs> i was going to say i'm not gonna say it. all right um kiana um okay does he have to make a certain amount of money oh um, yeah i think you know because uh, like i'm more of a coastal type of girl and like on the coast it's mad expensive so you got it to me make at least 75 and that's not even a whole lot on the coast if i can be honest uh and if there's no room for growth in your career if you don't like what you do if you're just in it for the money that's not good either so it has to be like rooted in your purpose and you gotta make at least 75 which is not a lot so have disposable income to be able to afford yourself but like to go on dates but to go on dates okay um let's do the kendra cam okay girl i'm in a hotel so I don't okay so everyone say Kendra say Kendra say you look good <laughs> and I love your natural hair I'm gonna be real transparent baby just a wig huh I'm gonna be transparent it's a wig is it I thought that was your hair no but you can go to my Instagram I have a highlight reel of my real hair I don't hide it but because I work out three times a week Oh no, I get it. I listen, girl. I'm wigged down every night. Um, I just actually thought it was your hair, though. Everybody thinks it is, but I don't. 
Um, I, I run a lot. I got four C hair and I run a lot. It's like, I got to pick one. You want the body? You want the hair? Figure it out. Right. Girl, I know. I agree. I, that's <laughs> one of the reasons why I wear wigs and why I don't like lace fronts. Because I need wigs I can take off so I can work out. Whenever I have my lace front wig, I can't work out. Child be driving me crazy. So I understand the workout life with the hair life as a black woman. Yeah, but y'all can see real on my a highlight reel on my Instagram. If y'all care about it. I know yes. it's real. Uh, we got you, boo. Kiana, when was your last relationship? Um, it ended about seven months ago. Okay. You don't have to answer, but I'm going to ask, when's the last time you was intimate with someone? With my ex-partner. Okay. Why do you think you're single? Um, I think I'm single because I had to do a lot of healing, if I can be honest. Um, I grew up in a dynamic where I learned to do things a certain way. Um, I would just kind of see a guy, think if he's nice, say the right thing. He was attractive and like checked all the boxes. I didn't even get a chance to know him long enough. So I would say that's enough. And I didn't allow enough time in between my relationships to like prioritize myself and really heal. So I think I was just kind of getting into a relationship after relationship and then also just like healing, which I have done that. Okay. All right. I'm going to say something because they're really asking me to say it when you were telling me about your experience in LA with anti-Black and... Um, and I'm not, I'm not negating that. I'm not negating what you're saying. I lived in LA before actually, um, before I actually moved to Chicago, I was in LA for a year. Um, I don't listen. I swear to y'all, I try to sit here as humble as possible. And I don't like always talking because if I was to really say shit, y'all are going to be like, this bitch is cocky. But on some, what I was, my spirit said rules don't apply to me. I'm the shit no matter where I go. And it don't matter if if there's 10 white women and one black girl, I'm going to still outshine. And everybody in that room going to want to be around me. So that's what my spirit wanted to say. But I don't like talking like that <laughs> because I try to be as humble as possible when I sit here. Um, but it don't matter what city I'm in. I could be in outer space and I'm going to always be the one. Oh, like, I'm confident. I know I look good. I know I have value. But what I mean by that, maybe, I think more so what I mean is like cultured. So like you gotta, Sorry. So like you, that's okay. You gotta like, like, I'm comparing it to New York when I say that. So like, I feel like in LA, you gotta find your group, your people. And so like when people sometimes hear my accent, they hear me talk, it's like an immediate like, and I'm not just talking about men. I'm talking about, I've experienced this from women as well. It's just like, I can come off a little like, you know, not quite like this. Like, hey girl, oh my God. You know, so it's just like sometimes, you know, and then when people, when I tell them where I live, the neighborhood, it's a fluent neighborhood. They're like, oh, like they don't expect that. So it's just, I get a lot, it's just different. I feel like in New York, the culture just pops out at you. And, and in LA, you really just have to find it. So I'm not just talking about men, but I will say, you know, if you are single, you're a black woman in LA, in the past year, I think, I think I've seen what, maybe 20? black couples but most of it is interracial and i and i just think that's just the culture out there but i think I, again i'm not going to negate your statistics and you're talking about your experience so i'm i'm not here to challenge that i i'm i'm just saying rules don't apply for me and i'm very good <laughs> and that's all i want to say with that without sounding even more cocky uh but i'll leave it at that and i receive that but one thing i will say is I am very protective because everybody has, I mean, I did announce today that I'm going to LA and yeah. I'm going in a different realm. I'm not going, trying to be an actress. Like people were saying, Oh, telling me about the, I, that's not, I'm good. Okay. I, I have no financial issues. I can live anywhere in the universe that I desire. So, but I, I do believe that you have to protect when people, um, project their experiences upon your life. I'm a big believer in that, although I can respect it, but I also have to honor my experience. And that's just not my experience. Not saying it's not true. I'm just yeah. saying that it's not my experience, but, oh. I, but I received that. I don't want to go off tangent because that's not what we're here for. Um, all right, girlfriend, Kiana, let's change this because we want the men to know who you are, what kind of man 
would um, be good for you? Why would a guy be lucky to be with you? I mean, I think for me, like, I'm just a nurturing person at heart. Like, I care about people. That's why I do the work that I do. I'm a deep impact, loyal person. I have my own money. I went to a post-secondary school, Ivy League school. I was a Division One track and field athlete. I prioritized my healing. Um, I like to, you know, I like to have fun. I can go out for a nice little jazz night, but we can turn up on a rooftop. On a rooftop. So I do like a little bougie vibe. That's the type of chick that I am. Um, and also I like to do like physical activity. So I just feel like, you know, it's not going to be a dull moment. I always say I'm not funny, but I'm goofy. <laughs> I'm a really goofy person. I just do silly stuff. So if you like that, you know, I think, I think it'd be fun. Right. Right. Um, okay. Well, let's do it. Let's do it. Kiana. How can a guy reach out to you? Um, uh, my Instagram is tagged. Uh, so I didn't say that also I write and I do poetry. So my Instagram. Oh, you do poetry. Let's hear it. Okay. You want to hear like something soft and smooth or something like. I'm going to let you decide. I had a poet before and, but whatever, whatever speaks to you. All right. Okay. Cool. This was a little activism me, just so y'all know, but I got a range of poems. Cool. Okay. Dark and stormy nights are for dreaming. They tell you to dream, then pass out loose change to bodies that they see as coin slot machines, to then give them the strings to puppeteer your line of thinking in your life, dreaming of pulling your ass from left to right. Welcome to the motherfucking circus, where dreams are reduced to trapeze acts, your work is stripped down to your brace and plats, they'll create you to their own acrobat, tell you to swing like this, but not like that, and if you don't swing high enough, that is a breach of the contract. I said welcome to the circus, where dreams can only be purchased but are not sold beyond the surface, but they pan you, so it's gotta have a purpose, right? Plus the show must go on, so drown out the songs as you tap dance by the minute, cause Puppet Master ain't pulling strings for niggas that's halfway in it. And to my women's yeah. secret, your contract is written with specific restrictions. After this brief intermission, they say, don't speak, don't think, don't dream, don't be. I'll stop there. <laughs> I love it, I love it, you're very confident. I don't I don't say you have to. Let me ask you this. Would you date outside your race? Yeah, I would. Okay. Cause you have so much that I feel like you command confidence. I think you're beautiful. Um, I say just keep walking in that that um realm and you're gonna attract somebody worthy. Thank you. I really feel that way. I think you and I'm not and I people always tell me that I should tell black women to date outside their race. I say I personally would not date outside my race. I've I've had dates outside my race. I've never dated outside my race. I personally have dated, went on two dates with white men, and I was like, this ain't for me. So I don't subscribe to that. But I also do subscribe in love. So however you find love, then that's how you should find love. So if you're open-minded to it, um, I think there's a lot of men that would appreciate the type of woman that you are. Thank you. I appreciate it. I received that. Yes. All right, Kiana Boo. I see you have it written, but let everybody know how they can reach out to you. On Instagram at Key Speak. So that's K I dot S P E A K. Okay. All right, baby boy. I'm baby girl. Keep me posted how it goes. Thank you. Bye, Kendra. All right. Bye bye, sweetheart. You know, um, I wanted to say this. I'm gonna go to somebody else. I don't the comments go so fast and I try to stay focused on the show. And then, you know, my dress is falling off today. But I just seen a comment that said Kendra G's a racist. If you really feel that way, why are you watching my show? Like, I understand if if I am not your cup of tea. Like, I get it. But why are you here? Like, it's late night. You don't have anything else to do with your life. Like, this is the middle of the night. You have to stay up. You got to log on YouTube. Is, does your life suck that bad that with not liking me, you're still here? <laughs> like, that's all that confuses me. I am. I, I am understanding that everybody won't i'm not everybody's cup of tea so we get that like and i don't think i should be but what what always blows my mind is then why do you support me because you know you're supporting me even though you think it's hey it's actually support you know you being here you saying stuff you engaging in the comment section like all that is really working in my favor even if you think it's negative so i guess cheers to me and Sorry for you. Like, I don't get it. 
I don't support nothing I don't rock with. And what's so crazy is I work so much. So it's so funny that people come on the show and you guys know them from YouTube or Facebook. I don't have time, child. Like I literally do not have time. If I ain't editing, I ain't hosting. If I, I be having, I don't got enough time to do shit that I need to do. So I damn sure ain't got time to waste on things I don't get into. Like anything I give my time to is because I want to, I desire to, I have no time to waste. So figure out your life and and get that shit together. But if not, still be here and support me. Hate or love. It all works the same. Thank you. All right, let's keep going. All right, um, let's get a guy. Hello. Hey, how you doing, Kendra? Hi, what's your name? My name is Carl. Your name is Carl? Yes. Carl, where are you calling us from? I'm calling you from Queens, New York. Queens, New York. How old are you, Carl? I'm 35 now. But before everything, I want to ask a question. Um, I was watching you on, on, on Instagram, but I never get picked up. But let me ask you a question. How do you feel when you have a lot of women ask for a man and men and men, and now you decide to pick a man? And after that, you pick a man and the men looking for another man. So how do you feel about that? What? Baby, is that why you're here? Are you here for this? Are you here? Because I, I don't do interviews. But are right. you here for me to ask you? I'll Forget answer it. the question, but are you here to look for love? Yes, I do. Okay, so your question is, how do I feel when a woman wants a man and he's bisexual? No. What I said was, how do you feel when you pick a man and then the man's still looking for a Oh, man. when a man's looking for a man. Yes, and then you know you was trying to pick a man. I mean, it is what it is. This is my show is open to everyone, so wow. it's not like I mean. The reality is this: my show, demographic wise, I have about it's predominantly women that watch the show. So okay. I try to get men, obviously, because the audience primarily are women, mm -hmm. and primarily they're always looking for a man. But if a man comes on and he's looking for a man, you know, I play, you know, it's a joke at first, like, oh, ladies, not for you. But we proceed. I mean, it is what it is. Gotcha. So are you looking for a man? Oh, no. <laughs> no. How do you feel? I mean, you asking me this question, like, you had a thought about it. What are your thoughts about it? My thought is that, um, you know, sometimes you pick so many women. That's what I'm trying to say. You pick so many women. You say, okay, it's time for a man now. And the one you pick is not actually a man. Because he's looking for a man. Well, no, he's still a man. Whether he's looking for a man or not, he's still a man. All right, let's leave it as that. Let's move on. And <laughs> um, I pick so many women because I it's always, if y'all don't know the data, it's 90% women to 10% men. That's a fact. So even right. though I um, mix it up, I try to mix it up to be even. It's not necessarily really even. I just try to make it look even but it's always 90 percent more women than mm -hmm. men that are trying okay. to get on the show that's just the reality so okay. um but i don't know just like i met you i don't know anybody's sexual orientation until i talk to them and yeah. um shout out to the lgbt community they're very welcome here and you know and that's what it is and i and i and i don't mind them coming up here because I have a major LGBTQ audience who would be interested. So it always works itself out. But I'm assuming you have thoughts, Carl, and you're not the biggest fan of it. That's what I'm getting. All right. Well, you saying shush, you brought it up. All right, Carl, I let's mean, get into you. Let's get into you. Where are you calling us? Let's get into me. Where are you calling us? I'm sorry. Somebody else is calling me. Don't worry about it. Who's calling you this late at night? Uh, it's a brother from... A man? Um, yes. man's calling you. What, where are you calling me from, Carl? I'm calling you from Queens, New York. So it's 11-something at, at your time? Yeah. It's and a man's good. calling you at 11-something? Yeah. I, ha I have homies that call me in, 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 every time. It seems oh, like they see me on YouTube and they call me. Oh, okay, okay. I'm not gay. <laughs> I have no problem with you. I'm, I'm not gay. I'm and I'm just saying, you know, you came up here with strong feelings. Okay. You ready? 100%. 100%. Okay. How old are you, Carl? I'm 35. 
35. All right, what you do for a living? I work in the EMS field. You work where? In the EMS field. EMS field. You have any children? Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. OK, no kids. What's your zodiac sign? Leo. 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 So this is Carl, 35 Leo. He works in the EMS field. That's the ambulance car, right? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. OK. And no kids. And then you're Queens, New York? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Queens, New York. All right, baby. Let's do it. What kind of woman born with a vagina? Please be, because he don't play that. Are you looking for? <laughs> I'm looking for. Back in the days, I used to say, um, my preference always be, um, you have to be black and thick. But I did it a white woman before, and it was great. So I'm open for everybody. Are you open for I everybody? What happened with the white woman? Why'd y'all break up? Mm -hmm. He didn't work out. Six. Her family was too much for me. Her what? Her family was too much for me. It's like the side, you, eye, the side eyes, you know, just because I'm black and I got an accent and all that, they feel, felt like they were doing me a favor or all kind of way. I, I can, I can, I couldn't keep going with this. But would you date another white girl? I have no problem as long as she put the boundary between her family and our relationship. Okay. The family, um, well, some would say that's probably going to come with every family, mm -hmm. whether it's immediate or not. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay. Um, so you're open to all. Is there any other characteristics besides, um, well, you said black, white. Are you open to all races? Yes. Okay. Any other um, or any other things you like? Um, be respectful. That's it. Be respectful. I don't like the ghetto-ness. I mean, I'm, I'm okay to be ghetto in bed to be ghetto with me but the get on the outside world when i'm walking around you have to be so loud and everybody gotta turn their eyes and looking at you in a way i'm like no ghetto it's for me not for the outside world i i don't like the ghetto -ness. thank you you don't like the ghetto -ness? no thank you no ghetto -ness. okay no ghetto -ness. um okay and ghetto to you is talking loud no curse a lot talking loud i have no respect like an example if i take you out on the cruise street or whatever the case is anybody the way we dress right anybody can step on your feet there's some area you should know how to hold yourself like one time i went and the cruise with the lady and then she we were dressing pretty well and then she somebody stepped on her shoes i mean say it's okay you don't have to explode and stop cursing. I'm from Brooklyn, da 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 No, nah, I don't like that. There's a way you be in and outside, you know. Okay, I understand what you're saying. They want me to ask you, can you explain what ghetto and bed means then? So she could be like that in the bedroom. In the bedroom, curse me out, slap me, do whatever you want, girl. Get on top. We're gonna do it all over, everywhere. But then the outside, come on now. Okay. Um, what's your deal breakers besides ghetto -ness? Was that it? Um, two kids. If you have two kids, no thank you. If you like... Um, Can she have one kid? I will deal with it, but I don't have no kids. I would rather okay. don't deal with people who have kids. But one right. kid so, is... But you might think about one, but two is the absolute no. No, no. Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, does she yeah. have to look a certain way? I think this is going to be a yes. Mm, yes. What's your preference in looks? I like them to be huge and stuff. You got to work on yourself. I understand you can kind of have a little fupa, but show me that you want to lose it. Show me that you want to hit the gym, all right? Show me that you want you want better for yourself. I don't like female that are delusional. There's a difference between being confident and delusional. Being big, fat, or whatever, overweight, it's all right. But understand that you not okay. don't be okay with it like that. Understand that it's something that you should work on. It's hard to lose the weight. It's hard probably to lose the football, but at least show that you can. 
you want to. But don't be like, oh, I'm comfortable the way I am. I'm 300, 400 pounds. Oh, I'm good. I'm beautiful. I'm a queen. So that's delusional. I don't like that. So she could be big if she's willing to get small? Exactly. But don't tell me you're comfortable, you're confident. That's not confidence. That's delusion. Oh, you don't think you oh you don't think a woman can be big and confident? Confident of, of the weight. You know, be confident of the weight. Oh, I'm way I, I weigh 300. I'm still confident. I'm still a queen. I'm still a king. I'm still a queen. I'm still whatever. Nah, 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 nah. You're 300 pounds, you're 400 pounds. Understand that you need to lose weight. That's it. Call me arrogant if you want, but you need to lose weight. And understand that you're going to hit the gym for sure. You're going to make sure you make it happen. But don't be like, oh, I'm a queen. I'm beautiful the way I am. You got to accept me the way I am. Come on now. Come on now. Come on now. 400 pounds is not right. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. 400 pounds is not right. Come on now. <laughs> Carl said, um, oh, okay, this is your preference moment. Okay, so... Now, how about you just want a girl that's in shape? Is that fair to say? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I like a little thickness too, but not fine. Now, if she's thick, does she have to lose weight or she could be thick and you're fine? No, she, she's thick and then everything is well built. I'm good with that. I'm well, good. So I just want to make sure I'm clear though. So you would date a girl that is obese if she's willing to lose weight. Exactly. Okay. Okay. But she can't be comfortable. Don't be comfortable in that way, in that 400 pounds. Don't be comfortable in it. Well, you know, Carl, there's several women that are comfortable in that way, and they do feel like they're queens. You don't agree with that? No, that's delusional. Why is that delusional, Carl? Because, listen, you can always think whatever you want. Yeah, you can think whatever you want. But the stat tell you the truth? The outside world not going to look at you the way you want to look at yourself, right? You, in your head, you can think you know how to sing even better than Chad Jackson. But put you on the stage. And you can't do shit. But in your head, you think you know everything. That's delusional. All right? And I like realistic people. Come on. Be real with yourself. And people say they're not going to compare themselves with people. No, you got to compare yourself with people. That's how you build yourself up. If you think you go all the way up here, you will never go higher. Because you know you're you know, you going to ignore the phone ringing? You're going to just pretend like... I don't know what that, I don't know what that is. Who's that? Is that your guy friend again? My guy friend. Okay, okay. He wants to really talk to you. Yo, he needs he needs to do something. He wants to. I mean, it's late night. He gotta. He he got to talk to you. Yeah, I will talk to him after that. That's more important. Okay, you'll talk to him around midnight. <laughs> after that. <laughs> you'll talk to him after midnight. After I'm done with you, he don't. Oh, have after you me. Now listen, I'm gonna just put it out there because you came on with some strong allegations about men who be wanting men on my show. People gonna think you, 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 you came on that way because you might be secretly subscri a subscriber. If I was, I would say you would I'm say a Leo. Okay. I'm a Leo, and I'm proud okay. of who I am. I, I like women and women only. Okay. Okay. I just, listen, you know, I know the cousins be cousining, so I'm happy we got that clear. So I now you that. know. All right. Does the woman got to make a certain... Wait, what you say, Carl? I see that, and I try to ignore the comment, but whatever you want. They want well, to you're going to be a highlight, so I like to ask questions. Oh, I don't want that. Please don't make it's, me it highlight. Matter. You are one. And I like to ask the questions I know people will say, so you can at least defend yourself. Please don't do that. It won't. It's not an option. It's always clear at the beginning of the show. You could be a highlight, so you I only can come on the show if you're willing to be one. Do. All right, we can do it. It's all right. Sorry. I know it's all right. It's already done. <laughs> it's, you didn't have an option. You don't have once you call in. You don't have because I don't call nobody. You volunteer to call me. We're three years in, and I always say at the top. But let me finish with you. Does a woman got to make a certain amount of money? Nope. I don't care about your money. Okay. Are you, you gonna? So are you? Less, it don't really matter to me. I make six figures, I'm good. So, oh, you make six figures, he's good. Okay, so yeah. you plan on providing for your family? Would your wife work or no? Um, yes, I'll provide for my family. Yes, she will come help with the bills, but if she can't, she has to stay home. I will take care of everything. Okay, all right, let's do the Kendra cam. They've been okay. waiting on this. You know, you better have, have a body by the way you was talking about bigger women. I did not have one, but I. Uh, 
I have to come downstairs to do that. I just came from work. Let me see if I can work this out real quick. Wait, we can see you right there. Can you? Oh, yeah, you're definitely in great shape. Am I? I think you're in good shape, no? I don't know. <laughs> okay, you. we'll see you. You can tell you work out. You work out? A little bit, once a, a week. Bit. Once a week? Yes. I would have thought you would have said more the way you was talking, child. Like a woman need to move into the gym the way you was talking, Carl. I don't have time. I, I work a lot. I'm a work a week. He doesn't have time. He works a lot. Fair enough. Um, Carl, mm -hmm. when was your last relationship? Uh, a year ago. You don't have to answer, but I'm going to ask. When was the last time you was intimate with someone? Um, not answering that. Okay. that why, do you, why do you think you're single, Carl? Because of my flaws, I guess. Oh, let's get there. What are your three flaws? I think, one, I work too much. I work a lot because I like money. I work a lot. Secondly, I'm a little bit arrogant. Everybody can see that. And also, sometimes I need my time. Sometimes I, I, I'm with you. I'm there. All right? But I don't want to talk. I want to stay in my corner. I need my piss. All right? I need my piss. I'm here. I'm going to be next to you, but don't bother me. All right? I don't know if people are going to call that bipolar if they want, but everybody in the daytime. Sometimes I just want to lay down next to you, watch my TV. Don't bother me. It's just me. I think that's a, that's a problem. I'm going to say this. I might not agree with everything um, about you, but what I appreciate about you is that you know yourself. I appreciate... <laughs> that you even brought up the fact that you feel as though you're arrogant. People are definitely going to say that. And it's funny to me because you said your thoughts on delusional women thinking they're 300 pounds and they're not queens. And you're probably one of the first people when I asked the flaw question that had three to name and you gave it. Like you didn't, most people come up here and you would think that, this is the most challenging question. I don't have, maybe I might got one. And you'd be like, okay. But I really, like, you coming across with your flaws made me change my thought process about, my thought press process about you because um, you know who you are, right? And I believe that's, that's most important. And you're putting it out there. So any woman that reaches out to you is very clear. So- mm -hmm. Put it on. Like, come come as this woman or not. So I respect that. All right, Carl. Why would a woman be lucky to be with you? Because I'm a provider. I work a lot. And I'm a man. A man. And he's I a man. I'm a man. All kind of way. I'll All give you three hours. Yeah, I will give you three hours. And I'm not small. Don't ask more for that. That's what I'm going to say. And... I got Wait, is it three hours, hours consistent or three hours a week? Like, three what up. is the three? Three up, nonstop. Three, oh, three hours nonstop. That's a lot, girl. I was born like that. <laughs> or maybe my grandma did something for me when I was younger. I know. He said he got three hours. Let's let's let's. let's I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna stay that far. Like this. <laughs> next question, though. Uh, well, that was the. Red, that's the last question. Why would a woman be lucky to be with you? Because I'm a man. Because he's a I'm, man. What does I'm a man clear. mean to you? Define what a man uh, means to call. A man that's uh, somebody that's know his place as a man. The same way a woman know her, her place as a woman, right? If I, if you're a woman, you gotta understand your position. You protect, you provide. You not like example, if your wife have three hundred dollars and you have five hundred dollars, they also have only five hundred dollars on it because you don't count the three hundred dollars that your wife had, all right? That's her money. She can help out, which is a help, not her job. And know your value, know who you are. That's what I mean. You work, you provide, you protect. And there you have it. All right, Carl. Is this how you reach out to you on Instagram? Is it carls.mills? Yes, ma'am. The, the guy sitting on the chair. That's me. <laughs> and now is that Instagram or what is that? Instagram, Kendra. Instagram. Carls.mills. Um, 
Well, let me tell you something. You better be ready for the cousins when you're a highlight because they're going to come for you Ooh. in the comment section. But stand your ground, Carl. Stand your ground. I don't, I'm not scared of nobody. <laughs> I can tell you're not. I can't right, talk to any woman, any kind of age, any kind. I don't care about your money. I mean, you can't even talk to you, Kendra, but I see you not looking for these things. All right. You just a host and I will not scare to stop you in the middle of the street and talk to you real quick. I, 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 I can tell you're very confident, Carl. I, mm -hmm. I can tell. So that will get you far in life. Do you want to settle down with a woman? Oh, what is your age range? What's your age range? You're 35. Oh, age range. I'm not doing 22. I'm not doing 24. Starting from 27 to 38. You're not doing What's wrong with 22, 24? I mean, I, mean, I respect it. They're not ready for, for something serious. I mean, they're not ready for something serious. They just want to get my nails done, get this done. Let's go travel. Let's go. This It's okay. We can travel. We can do great things. But we got to see 10 years from now if we're going to be stable in a way that we don't have to work for, for the white people anymore. You know, we got to have a somehow we got stuff together. But like, okay, we're going to put the Airbnb in place. We're going to buy a couple houses. You know, but I, I don't mind it. If you are around 22, you just want to chill. You come here, you know you want to chill. Tell me you want to chill. I'm a man. Any man can have sex with a woman without liking her. That's for sure. I'm Any safe. man can have sex with a woman without liking her? Yes. They, we don't want to say it. I don't have to like you to have sex with you. It's a man thing. I should it like, let it out like that, but they're going to hate me for that. We can but we're not going to make you our wife. We're not going to make you our girlfriend. That's for sure. See, so if you know you're on, on the age, if you know you just want to chill, straight up, the same way I'm out again, come to me, tell me, yo, listen, I just want to have some great time. We'll have a great time, but that's it. That's it. But don't lie to me. Don't waste my time or I want a relationship and you know you just want to have a good time. You just want to travel. You just ah, Ready. My family report. My family actually worried because they want me to have kids at 35. They want me to get married and everything. So it's time for me to check, check the box and and do this. And do this. I I, I can't wait to meet your wife, Carl. <laughs> I cannot wait to meet the woman that fits all the boxes. Um, Let's see how it works. All right, Carl. Carls.mills at the bottom of IG. Listen, this is going to be a great conversation. I can't wait to see the reactions from the cousins. Okay. All right. <laughs> I appreciate you. Bye, babe. Bye. Right, beautiful. Um, let's see. Okay. Listen, I really want to go on. Um, I think she's been here before. Miss G. Hey, Dom. How you doing? So you always so vibrant, Miss G. Say what? I tell you, always so vibrant. Oh, thank you. But you know what? I already knew you were moving to L.A. How'd you know, Miss G? Because I had that third eye. And because all the pictures that I saw of you, I sent messages and said, you know what? I said, she is a Cali girl. She's been saying it for a while. I man. said she's a Cali girl. She should be here. You are going to blow up here. They are going to love you. You are going to be amazing. And look, I contacted Tamara Hall in order to get you on her show in February. And I wanted you to so bad on the February show that she had, but what they did up? contact me. I have an update because let me tell you what happened. I want to say the, one thing real quick. So I know Tamron Hall, um, you know, I'm a woman in the journalist world. So I've interviewed um, the queen. I would like to call her Tamron Hall a few <laughs> times. So I'm, I'm, so we actually know each other, but let's talk about you, Miss G. What's the update? Hey, okay. Okay. After I went viral, okay, I didn't you know what viral show. meant on the show that I was on last time. And I don't know, my granddaughter called me and said, Mimi, you went viral. <laughs> and I'm like, what is viral? And so then I had 
thousands of people. Look, let me tell you what your show did for me. I was in the bed. You know, I'm disabled. I was in the bed. I never got up out the bed. Your show had me put my makeup on. It got me up. It had me put my clothes on. I had men contacting me that were 41 years of age that didn't realize I was 75 years old. Okay. I have had a ball on social media. I have fallen in love with a guy that lives in Oakland, California, which is North California. Okay, and we contact each other all the time. We didn't meet on your show, but I introduced him to your show. Oh, yeah. And I got my teeth, cousin. I, I was waiting. I didn't want to cut you off, but I see you got your teeth. I got my teeth, baby. D got her teeth. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I'm so proud of you, doll. Hey, I am so, we love you. Yeah, we love, we love you. you. Okay, this is my daughter back here. Okay, she takes care of me. You know what? I he, he contact we we keep in touch, but I, I there's a lot of men that I talk to now. You know, and a lot of men are contacting me just for advice prayers. A lot of women are calling me for prayers. My life is just changed because of your show. I have so much energy now and I have so many friends now. I had a guy who contacted me from Jamaica, so I am able to go to Jamaica whenever I want to, Canada whenever I want to. You know what I'm saying? Girl, you That's are the bomb. Thank you. You are the bomb. Thank you, Miss G. I received I that. I love you. I love um, you. Let me say this. And, um, First of all, I love you, Miss G. You always come on and give me my flowers, and I so appreciate that. I think what some people um, sometimes don't realize is I've been doing, I've been in the media world for 24 years, and I've always, always, always wanted my own show. And I have been on 10,000 auditions, and I've been on several networks. I've been on CNN, Fox, E. Um, shout out to E, because E actually was a network that really was trying to figure out me and where they can place me and um it was just always a dream to have my own show and i knew that i would excel at being my authentic self so i have my own show because of supporters like you and um now i'm creating my own app and i and i just love how god did my story because you know what he said girl i got something so much bigger for you you keep trying to get jobs i'm having you create a whole movement I'm going to have you create a whole platform. I will never fill out another job application again for the rest of my life. So, um, but it's people like you guys that made it possible. And I am so appreciative. So thank you, Miss G. I appreciate you are it. blessed. God, you are favored. And see, I'm favored. Anyone around me is favored. I know. You know I thank you so much for getting me up. I am so blessed at 75. Yeah, I would love to have a man. You know what I'm saying? The man up north told me that I was too far away. And we were trying to figure out, because he's disabled a little bit, I'm disabled a lot, you know? And my daughter, come here, girl. She was upset because she said, only time you get dressed up is when Kendra come on. I said, okay. So I started putting some clothes on. I started getting my hair dyed. I started doing a whole lot of stuff. You know what I'm saying? She takes care of me. But, but all I know is when your show comes on, KG, she's up, moving, doing her thing. So thank you. <laughs> That's all I want to say. Thank you. I'll be in there next. I'll be in there next. <laughs> <laughs> because I'm 75, she's 50. I don't want to be a burden on her. You know what I'm saying? But it has come to a point where, you know, I lost my two sons. I told you that. Mm -hmm. And she is left to have to take care of me. But girl, you are blowing 
uh, and I am so proud of you, doll. I told you the only one I call doll is you and my daughter. You are blowing up. You're going to go much higher than this. And I'm telling you why. It's not because of your body, because you got a banging body. It's not because of your hair and all of that. It's because God has already favored you, honey. And you are going to go much further than what this platform is all about. I am so proud of you. And I love you. I love you, Miss G. I got to meet you in person. So we got to make that happen. Look, I'm so thankful. And look, wait a minute. <laughs> What's Congratulations. Oh, Congratulations. Okay. A toast for you. A toast to you. you. Oh, okay. Because you. I live in California. Where are you I live in California? Yes, I do. And I said what to you, I California said, do you live in? say what? Where do you live? How far do you live from LA? 45 minutes. Oh, I'm going to meet you. So we got to okay, meet you first. Right. Look, gonna... what I said when I saw the pictures, I said, she's a Cali girl. She don't need to be where she is. She's supposed to be in California. And I'm going to tell you about California. Yeah, you're going to have to, you already have your uh, click. They have clicks here. And you already have your click. And I'm going to tell you, if you haven't met your man yet, you're going to meet your man here, honey. You're going to meet your man here and you're going to be so happy for the rest of your life. I'm, I'm happy um, with or without that. And I know um, that. <laughs> um, I know. I, I receive that. I, I receive yes. that. I do. But Miss G, on another note, I'm going to meet you when I get to Cali. So we're going to make this happen. Um, how do people reach out to you? Well, I am uh, wisdom you need in, uh, on. Um, Instagram. Wisdom I'm you need and it's spelled the regular way. Wisdom. Yes, you wisdom you need. Uh, wisdom. You know, I've been around a long time. It's also um, Joanna Greg. I'm Joanna, and it's Joanna Greg on um, Facebook. Okay, and I believe on YouTube is your lady, your old lady. Your old well, I would need what's Facebook or Instagram? Those are the two that we like to promote here. Wisdom you need. Wisdom you need. And it's spelled the regular way. Let me look it up while I'm here with you. Uh huh. Um, w I S D O M Y O U N E E D. W I S D O M Y O U N E E D, wisdom you need. And I hate, and, and, and how my teeth look, cousins. You how know, I'm 75. Wisdom you, oh, is it right here? No, well, that's not you. Wait, is this you? W I S D O M. Is this you? That's me. Okay, all right. All right, we locked and loaded. Okay. So um, I'll be situated. I actually go to, I go to Paris tomorrow and then I have to uh -huh. go to London. And then the goal was to go right from London to LA, but I'm not done packing in Chicago. So I got, I got to come back and I'll be packing all next week. And then I have to go to Atlanta, New York. And then I already have my place in Cali. I'm trying to get there as soon as possible because it is not cheap. Are you but in the, look, Cali is the ocean, the mountains, uh, let's see the, the ocean, the mountains, what else, Naisha? Anyway, there's four ocean mountain. And you could do everything here okay. from LA. It's an hour to the ocean, an hour to the mountains, an hour to the, uh, what the snow or something, an yeah. hour and to the, uh, you know, whatever. I, Chicago, yeah, you I gotta love it here. Place. You gotta love it here. You've already been here before, so you already know. But you're gonna love it here. Yes, well, and Ms. people G are gonna love you. Thank you, Miss G. Uh, we gotta go, but for the guy that's interested, because Miss G is still open for love, hit her up on IG. Um, love you, Miss G. I love you too, doll. Love you you love. You take you. care of yourself. Be blessed. I you pray too. for you. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you, Miss G. Okay. Um, Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Miss G. I didn't mean to cut you off like that. That's okay. 
Okay. I know how it would go. No, real quick. They love your teeth. Everyone said they love your teeth. Thank you. <laughs> Thank Bye, you. Baby. Bye, baby. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, YouTube is a little different than um, Facebook and Instagram, but I did make the announcement that I'm leaving Chicago today and I am relocating to California. Um, I've been in Chicago for eight years, so it's bittersweet. Um, it's definitely great to go back to Cali. I was in Cali a year before I came back to Chicago eight years ago. So I'm very excited about the next chapter. I'm very excited about going back to Cali, but I am going to miss the loyal people of Chicago. There's nothing like Chicago love. They love you. They love you. And, um, so I, you know, that was the, the, the sad part of saying goodbye to the people that have supported me for the last eight years in Chicago. Um, but before I go to LA, I'm going to Paris, child, and I leave tomorrow. So I got to finish packing. So here's the deal. YouTube, Zach Boog, I got to figure it out. I might do a show from Paris, but I got to get the time schedule. Child, I think it might be like five o'clock in the morning, and I don't know if I'm really going to be up at that time. But I would like for y'all to have a show because y'all got the short end of the stick when I was in Italy because Zach doesn't know how to host the YouTube show. Um, but if I can do one on 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 Wednesday, I will. Um, but I love you guys. And y'all be well if I don't talk to you Wednesday, but I'm really going to try. Follow IG and Facebook because I'll make the announcement on those platforms. Hi, guys. Bye.